I will be happy to share the discussion that took place at the European Parliament. What were the key messages that we took from the, the, from the plenary? First, it was underlined that it is important to assure that the European Commission, in close cooperation with ENISA, will implement swiftly all necessary actions to immediately protect EU critical entities and infrastructure against Russian state-sponsored and criminal cyber threats. Second, in view of the rise of cyber attacks and of the changing nature of warfare, the EU needs to overcome its current capability gaps in the area of ICT technologies, cyber warfare. Third, much better cooperation and much better coordination between EU and NATO is needed. Cyber revolution has not come to an end. I would now focus on uh, connectivity. Because the aim is in particular to ensure that roaming and international calls can be offered um, at affordable conditions to, to a massive, massive number of Ukrainian refugees that are now uh, in the EU. A big contribution is indeed coming from the European telecom operators who had been doing this for almost from the beginning of the world. Uh, the second very important uh, part of our work uh, is related to what is happening in terms of connectivity with Ukraine. Mm. Uh, so basically ensuring that that Ukraine is connected uh, with with the with Europe, many aspects from skills, connectivity. Uh, government uh, but also cyber security we have mechanism to make sure that member states are moving together towards full digital transformation the unity the EU, the eu has shown in many regards since the invasion of ukraine also applies to the cyber security field as there is based on what we see an unprecedented collaboration between telecom operators and other industry peers and close exchange with governmental agencies Therefore, the regulatory environment should allow European companies to scale up and make enough return on capital to invest into resilience topics and build those um, desperately needed human resources and skill sets to appropriate, appropriately mitigate the challenges. From, from our point of view, uh, the main purpose of, uh, for us is to um, maintain an open internet even in terms in times of war. And, and I believe that's, uh, that's really important both for the reasons that's been stated here. We're collecting routes from the internet routing system that gives information about which part of the network uh, still works and which does not. And uh, to our surprise, uh, the internet in Ukraine has been amazingly resilient towards these attacks.